To make a pickaxe programming cable for breadboards, you will need an old serial device. I'm using a old mouse. You're going to need to have make sure it has a DB9 connector. A female DB9 connector. This is what a male one looks like. We're looking for the female ones. Also going to need three colors of number 20 or 22 hookup wire, a multimeter, electrical tape, duct tape. I'm using this for labeling, so that's why I chose white. Pliers and side cutters. If you have a strong pair of scissors, you could use those instead. I will be using uh, soldering iron and solder later on, uh, but that's optional. You don't have to. First is to cut off the... Uh, to make it, first you need to cut off the uh, old mouse, cut off the cable off the mouse. I did so already, so I'll just discard that. Now we need to strip the cable so we can see the wires inside. Mm, about an inch and a half, just to give us something to work with. Be careful not to damage the wires inside. As you can see, there's quite a few wires. Although we only need to find uh, only need three of these. To find three of them, those three that we need, we're going to use a multimeter. Put it on ohms. On this one, I have it so uh, it's a continuity tester. It'll sound a buzzer if it makes a connection. Now we're going to need to strip each of these there now you're also going to need a short piece of hookup wire and you need to strip oh, about that much about an inch and a half cut a little bit longer this is so we can stick it into the DB9 connector so we can find out where the wires come out for here, 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 and here. This is the ground, the transmitter, or the TXD, and the RXD. We're going to have to find these three connections. That's what we need for a pickaxe programming cable. So I'm going to stick that in there. Put one of the test leads on and find out where it comes out here. Ah, it's the blue one. Make note of that. It needs this one. Now we'll do the TXD one. That's the third from the left. Insert. Ah, the gray. It's a gray one. Okay. Now it's the next one right by it. It's the fourth one from the left. This one right here. Right there. I'll find out where that one comes out. Ah. The red one. Alright. Those are the three wires we need. All the other ones just cut away. Now, we're going to 
attach the hookup wire to these wires so we can plug it into a breadboard easier. You need about six inches of each color. One. Now, strip about a half an inch off of each end. Now, on the other end, do about a quarter inch, just a little bit, just enough to be able to plug into a breadboard. Now, I'm going to strip these a little more. There. Now we're going to ooh, attach the wires. Let's see. I'm going to let's see. The blue was the ground. I chose, I'm going to choose white for my ground. Twist them together. I kind of like to fold them over a bit too, helps. Gray was the transmitting. TXD. I'm going to use red for that. And the red was the receiving uh, RXD, so I'm going to use yellow for that. There. Now, you could just uh, tape this all up and you would be done, but I have a soldering iron and some solder, and I would like to use that to make a more durable cable. There. Now, we're going to tape them up. Now we have to put a label on it so we don't forget our color scheme. And write the scheme. Let's see, I did white for ground. And red for the transmitting TXD. And the receiving, the RXD, was yellow. There. Now we won't forget later on. Well, now you have a complete pickaxe programming cable. That will work very well in a breadboard.
Thank you for watching and be sure to check out my YouTube channel for more videos on how to use this cable for programming various pickaxe chips.